everything. <laughs> She's funny. Alright, hello everyone. Not hello everything, but hello everyone. Welcome back to the science video with me, Cikgu Husna. In this video, I'll be explaining on the topic relationship of organism with one another and with the environment. In short, I just call this topic as ecology. So in this topic, I'll be focusing on five main points. The first point is on the main sources of energy in food. What is the principal source of energy in food chain and food web? So in food web, and food chain, the main source of energy is the sun, the sun, the sun. Okay, next. The reason for energy flow in ecosystem described as, as being non-cyclic. <laughs> so the energy flow in the ecosystem is, de is described as non-cyclic because energy is lost as heat by living organism. So the heat released by organism will not be recycled back to the sun. And then identify the role of organisms in a given diagram of food chain or food web. So here I have an example of a food chain. So what does this arrow mean? So the arrow here means energy is transferred to so, which means the cabbage, the energy from the cabbage is transferred to caterpillar, okay? And then, from the caterpillar, the energy is transferred to blackbird. So, how energy is transferred from one organism to another? This is by feeding. So, which means cabbage is eaten by the caterpillar and the caterpillar is eaten by the blackbird. To identify the role of the organisms, at the beginning of any food chain, it always starts with a plant. So, the plant is what we call as the producer. So, producer uh, is any plant that produces their own food. So, that's a producer. So, usually, producers are eaten by herbivores. They are eaten by herbivores. Herbivores are animals that eat plant. For example, a rabbit and these herbivores are eaten by carnivores. So what are carnivores? Carnivores are animals that eat other animals. And when this cabbage, caterpillar, blackbird, when all of these living orga organism dies, they all will become soil. So how do they become soil? They become soil because they are broken down by decomposers. Decomposers are living organisms that break down any dead plant and animal to get energy. For example, decomposers are like bacteria, worms and fungi okay so in the pictures uh, where is which one is the producer which one is the producer in this food web huh? there are two there are actually two producers so the producers are the grass and the tree so here how many herbivores are there in the food web so in the food web there are actually three herbivores so, the herbivores are the locust, aphid, and finch. Then, carnivores. Carnivores, animal that eat meat. So, how many carnivores are there in this picture? So, in this picture, there are also three carnivores. So, what are they? They are the crow, hawk, and eagle. Okay, next. How to calculate... The energy transfer in trophic levels with given information. For every trophic level, 90% of energy is lost as heat energy. So only 10% energy is transferred to the next trophic level. So this is the first level, second, third and fourth level. Okay, let's say the tree has 10,000 kilocalorie energy. So when the rabbit eats the leaf of the tree, this rabbit will only receive 10% of 10,000 kilocalorie energy. So if we calculate that, 10,000 times 10% will give us 1,000 kilocalorie. So the rabbit will only receive 1,000 kilocalorie. And when the rabbit is eaten by the snake, the snake will only get 10% 
of 1000 kilocalorie so the snake will get 100 kilocalorie energy and when the snake is eaten by the eagle the eagle will only get 10% of 100 kilocalorie which will be 10 kilocalorie energy okay this is why the food chain is usually short because of the loss of 90% energy at every trophic level the animals at the end of the food chain would not get enough energy to stay alive all right predict and give reason for the change of organism population in a stage when there is a change in the food chain of food web so here i have an example of a food web okay let's say in this food web the eagle dies off. There's no eagle in this food web. So what will happen to the population of finch in this food web? So there are two possible answers here. It can be the number of finches will increase. Why it increase? Because they are not eaten by eagles since eagles dies off in the food web. Or another possible, possible answer is the finch will decrease in number because there will be more hawk. Since the hawk will not be eaten by the eagle, there will be more hawk and more hawk will eat more finches. So these two answers are actually correct. With that, we have covered all the five things that we want to focus in this video. I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye uh, and Assalamualaikum.